Hi, this is Attila16 for the Your Game channel, and this is my part two uh, commentary on my campaign of uh, Mountain Blade Warband. This part two uh, start with uh, me managing uh, the uh, inventory in the shop, and I choose to increase a little my armor, but uh, that early on in the campaign it may not be that useful overall. The reason being that uh, early in the game, the best way to make money is to uh, participate in uh, arena and tournaments. But first you need to start with uh, the arena because uh, you need to raise some money to be able to bet on yourself in the tournaments. So upgrading your armor may not be uh, the best way to uh, start uh, in this game. And uh, since I will play in the arena, uh, Maybe I should have bought some uh, shoes with more armor since uh, it's the only part of your uh, armor that will be used in the tournament. But at the same time, uh, it wasn't really necessary uh, this early on in the uh, campaign. As you join uh, the arena, you start without any armor, so uh, you, you are very uh, weak, but your enemies are also very weak. And the weapon is randomly chose by the computer. In this case, I got a two-ended sword, and uh, I should add that uh, the difficulty level uh, I used was the default one, so I don't believe it's uh, the uh, maximum damage and uh, the AI uh, is that strong, and I did not change uh, the uh, difficulty uh, at the, this point in the campaign. And really, if you're a beginner, you should not try to play at normal uh, difficulty because you will get on. And uh, starting at uh, a lower difficulty uh, may be a good idea uh, to train yourself a little. And the arena is the best place for that because uh, if you uh, die or actually get stunned, uh, you will be able to... Uh, go back after and you won't lose anything and you may actually do a, a few uh, denars. You can also train yourself uh, in single player uh, arena uh, to prepare yourself for the multiplayer. For that you need to uh, choose a manual block which is uh, what most server use in multiplayer. Uh, the manual block force you to uh, actually uh, move your mouse in the direction from where the attack comes from and the arena is really uh, the best place to train yourself at that. It helps you to familiarize yourself with the moves uh, and the uh, reaction you should have in each case. And if you play with auto blocks anyway, it will help you figure out what block, block uh, what attack. It will give you a good start for the multiplayer. On the other hand, it won't develop your reflex. Another advantage of fighting in the arena is that uh, you will increase your character stats uh, related to uh, weapons. So, uh, for example, if you use a lot of the two-handed uh, sword, it will increase your two-handed stats. And all that without the risk, and this is really what the arena is about. It's all about developing your character without the risk of being taken or defeat, which have a, a monetary impact and a moral impact on your troop. So it, it's, at this point in the campaign, it's really not worth it to take uh, such risk. Even if you're good, you should uh, uh, start in the arena to uh, train your character. And while watching me play, uh, I will point out uh, a little detail. Uh, when uh, you see me hit the enemy, most of the time I actually turn my character. This increases the velocity of my weapon and by doing so I also increase the damage I do on my enemies. This is a system uh, which is uh, implemented in Mountain Blade since the beginning but uh, in this new version I think it's even more important. And this also uh, goes for uh, Trust Attack where uh, if you are uh, moving toward an enemy and he's moving toward you and you actually uh, attack him, uh, the velocity of uh, both enemies f uh, charging each other will be higher and uh, you will make much more damage on them. On the other hand, 
if you don't uh, make much move, your uh, it may actually uh, do very little damage to him. So it's really important to uh, give you a swing and uh, to move as you uh, hit your enemies. After your fight in the arena, you should not forget to uh, talk to the uh, guy of the arena and he will give you your money. You should also uh, check all the time uh, if there are uh, tournaments nearby because uh, it's really worth it uh, in terms of uh, revenue to participate in tournaments and uh, sometimes it's even worth uh, moving uh, all uh, the way to the other side of the uh, campaign map uh, to participate in the tournament because not only does it uh, bring you money if you bet on yourself but uh, it will also increase your reputation in the city and by doing so it will lower the price of items it's really a no-brainer to participate in those tournaments not to mention that you will gain uh, experience and you will level up uh, your character uh, thanks to the experience of uh, of stunning the adversaries and this uh, once again without the risk of being captured and you may not even uh, win in the arena or the tournament and you will still have that experience another effective way to gain experience money uh, in a small amount and uh, maybe some uh, equipment is to fight a uh, deserter and uh, looter and uh, bandit and uh, stuff like that. Enemies which are not too strong depending uh, how evolved they are and I think uh, how evolved they are uh, depends on your uh, character level. Apparently in the desert there are plenty of uh, small party which uh, are not too strong and uh, you can uh, easy uh, take care of. And in this case those deserter uh, thought they were strong enough to take me down with my troops making this one of the first battle uh, I have in this campaign and uh, you should keep in mind that uh, this is a random encounter and uh, this is probably what this game is mostly about there is a lot of random encounter as the battle begin uh, I told my troops which are actually peasant uh, with the weapons uh, to old position this way uh, I could uh, go and scout what kind of enemy I was facing and uh, this way I also keep my troop alive and uh, not being sure how strong my enemies were uh, that's probably the best thing to do even if they don't fight in this battle they will gain uh, experience from it and uh, at this point it's better to maximize the uh, the points uh, of experience you gain from battle by doing the job yourself if you can your army just serve as a reserve in case things go wrong for you and you took too much damage and you need uh, people to uh, help you uh, in the fight because sometimes you may be uh, full of health but if they uh, put uh, your horse down uh, you may have trouble uh, facing uh, many enemies and they will uh, be too many uh, at hitting you uh, for you to hit back that's why uh, you, it's important to have an army with you. I would like to point out uh, how the AI behave. And uh, as you can see, they stay grouped, unlike uh, the original Mountain Blade, where uh, they all spread out as you turn around them. And this makes it actually much harder for you to uh, kill them individually. And this is a very nice change from the original. And there is also uh, a moral system which make them panic uh, if they feel uh, they have no chance to win so you may actually see them uh, run away and uh, retreat or uh, or on the contrary charge you much harder and uh, I think you will see that uh, better in the next part and I will uh, close this video here since I'm running out of time keep an eye open for the next one